Well, if you have a dog, you know they're constantly eating things they're not supposed to. And poisonous mushrooms are high on that list. And tonight we've got a warning for pet owners. News Channel 7's Abby Davis spoke with a CUNA couple about their recent experience with this. Abby, walk us through what they're dealing with. Shira, what started as a fun trip quickly turned into a nightmare for Nate Stoffer and Kayla Hall. Their beloved dog, Bella, got a bit too adventurous and ate a poisonous mushroom. The aftermath is not something the couple ever wants to repeat. When Nate Stoffer returned to his family's cabin in Stanley Sunday morning, he found his lab, Bella, unresponsive in her crate. I spent a few minutes trying to get her to wake up and then I picked up her head and noticed she was covered in drool. So I knew that there was something wrong. The reason, a poisonous panther cap mushroom Bella ate earlier in the day. After finding Bella, Stoffer and his girlfriend Kayla Hall rushed to the closest vet, three hours away, where Bella stayed overnight in the ICU. They basically told us that we don't know what's going to happen. Keep your phone on high and we'll call you if something changes overnight. It just hurt so bad seeing it and how she was acting and it was a lot of anxiety <laughs> and getting down there as fast as possible it was, yeah. A lot of emotion. While panther cat mushrooms are more common in the mountains, they do grow here in the Treasure Valley. Robert Sheehy identifies mushrooms for a living. He says the type of mushroom Bella ate usually grows near trees and has either yellow or brown caps with white warts. These particularly poisonous mushrooms all grow out of a cup. Sheehy says knowing what's in your backyard is key. And if you do have some potentially dangerous mushrooms growing, there are ways to reduce exposure without hurting the ecosystem. To smash them or pick them rather than try to, you know, put massive amounts of fungicide on your yard. That's not even good for your grass. Stoffer and Hall already took Chihi's advice. They also bought Bella a special type of face protection so she stays safe when they're camping or hiking in remote areas. Making sure other dog owners are aware of the potential dangers of wild mushrooms is something the couple is passionate about. Most people let their dogs free roam and it just is terrifying that it could just happen to anybody. And it's so close to home for everyone. Now Bella is home and doing well, and if you think there might be some dangerous mushrooms growing in your backyard, she he says you can bring in samples to the University of Idaho Extension Office here in Boise. If you do, make sure to put them in a paper bag so they don't get smashed. All right, a lot of good information there. Thank you, Abby, for sharing that with us.